Hey guys, it's Andre with FuelTech USA, and today we're going to be discussing what's the right ECU for your application. So this is something that comes up obviously very frequently. First thing you need to know whenever you're reaching out to FuelTech is which ECU to select, right? Most people automatically gravitate to a 450. I mean, why wouldn't you? Great price point and it's a very capable unit, but it won't necessarily be the answer for what you're trying to do, considering that the main difference between all our ECUs is the amount of channels that they have available. So that means how many inputs and how many outputs. So what's an input? An input is anything that sends a signal to the ECU. So think RPM, temperatures, pressures, drive shaft, all of that. Now there is an exception. EGTs and O2s don't count towards that number because they go through our CAN network. So you don't have to worry about those when you're calculating how many inputs you're actually gonna need. 450 has seven inputs that are configurable, while the 550 and 550 Lite, which by the way, are the exact same ECU with the difference that the 550 has a screen where the 550 Lite does not. Those have 14 configurable inputs and the 600 has 20 configurable inputs. The other difference is the outputs. 450 has 10, 550 has 24, and the 600 has 32. What are outputs? Outputs are anything that the ECU is gonna be controlling. So think any solenoids, any relays, any coils, any injectors. All of those are outputs and they have to be counted. There's no CAN network to kind of buffer you up on that a little bit. So if you have an EFI application, V8, and you're trying to do sequential control of your injectors, you're more than likely gonna already be starting on a 550 or a 600 versus if you're a four cylinder and only have four injectors, then more than likely we'll be able to get away with a 450. So let's say you have an application with 13 inputs and 22 outputs. Well, that fits perfectly into a 550 or a 550 Lite. Now, something you should keep in mind is any future expansion plans, right? Inputs and outputs are not expandable in the ECU. So if you run out of room, the only way to get more channels is to move up to the next ECU. So keep in mind future expansion plans. If you plan to add some sensors, maybe a second set of injectors or anything like that, then consider going to the next ECU up to make sure that you have room to do all these things in the future. Now, there are a couple of differences aside from that. In the 550 and the 600, that have an integrated G-meter. They have the ability to do gear controller functions, meaning that we can do clutchless shifting on dog box transmissions. And they have the ability to control drive-by-wire throttle body. Other than that, all the ECUs share the same great features. They all run off of FT Manager, which you can download for free off of our website, fueltech.net. They're all IP67 rated, so they're all safe for marine applications. And three of the four have a touchscreen. So other than the 550 Lite, they all have a digital touchscreen where you can make changes directly on the screen. Two wheels are four, on road or off, gas or electric, land or in the sea. FuelTech has an ECU for you.